Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm John Gray. And I'm Lydia Colbita. Testimony continuing today in the new Scotland murder trial. Jacob Klein accused of murdering Philip Rabati last April, uh, last month, uh, just months rather, after Rabati married Klein's former girlfriend. Investigators laying out the timeline of Klein's arrest. News 10 ABC's Trishna Begum spending the day in court. She joins us live now with more details on what the jury heard today. Trishna. Well, Lydia and John, probably the biggest development out of the proceedings inside of the courtroom here today was the prosecution wanted to introduce some Facebook messages uh, between Jacob Klein and Elena Radin, Philip Rabati's wife. Now, these messages date back to March of 2019. The prosecution making the argument saying that included in those discussions uh, were about the dog that they shared, and it would really help the jury understand the type of relationship that these two had at one point. Klein objecting to that uh, on the basis of relevance, saying that these messages were from three years ago, so they are far removed from what happened and what this trial is about. Judge ultimately sustaining the objection, so the jury never got to see those messages, but we still got a sense of what this relationship may have been like at one point. Part of today's testimony included witness testimony from the senior investigator with the Albany County Sheriff's Office, um, Amy Kowalski. She was working April 13th, the day that they were called to 120 Miller Road at Rabati's home. She testified today that she observed Rabati's body lying in the garage surrounded by blood. She also testified that she helped walk Elena out from that scene to the car, and she had asked Elena two simple questions, that being, who would do this and who would want to hurt Phil? Now, later in the day, we learned of Elena's response. Uh, in Kowalski's testimony, she stated that Elena had told her, quote, an ex-boyfriend, Jacob Klein. Kowalski also said that Raiden described him as, quote, controlling and that he was upset over the breakup. Kowalski saying that between uh, that interview, the business records of the Airbnb rental and the car rental putting him in this area, the license plate reads, uh, there was a lot of corroborating information information leading them to that one suspect. Uh, now I want to show you some graphics uh, of the evidence that was entered in. Kowalski testified she helped oversee the collection of evidence from Klein's Virginia home. So from that home, they uh, collected a maroon colored sweater, a pair of black sandals and a gun. And along with those items, they also searched his Toyota 4Runner that was spotted in this area. And from that, they collected a suitcase, a blue medical face mask, a knife that was in the suitcase, and another gun that was found in that forerunner. Uh, during Klein's cross-examination of Kowalski, he repeatedly asked her if there was ever any DNA evidence found um, on the surfaces that they tested at the Rabati home. Uh, she said no, there was not DNA evidence. Uh, she, he also asked if there was any victim's DNA found in the cars that they searched uh, that he was driving. They did not find any specific profile that matched the victim's DNA uh, in the cars that they were searching. Now, today we also heard later in the day from two New York State forensics experts. Uh, they were responsible for examining this DNA, collecting the evidence, and sc uh, conducting screening tests for blood. So they basically walked the jury through what they tested for, and it's a lot of what you would expect. The things that were collected from Rabati's home, they uh, matched Rabati's uh, DNA samples, the things that were collected collected off of Klein, like at that Airbnb rental. They matched his samples uh, tomorrow. The jury will be back here listening to more testimony. The court will resume at 10 o'clock and we will be here inside uh, listening to what else the prosecution presents. For now, I'm live in Albany County. Tristan Begum, News 10, ABC.